Hello, Junior High. Today is a Fantastica Friday, May 10th. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Nicholas. Yo, yo, Junior High. Liam here. We're so excited to be here on today's announcements. Now, please stand and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Now, before we get into clubs and activities, we would like to shout out an important member of this class that does not NC receive enough recognition. Okay, and that person is Avery! 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 Yeah, Avery. Okay. If you guys didn't know, Avery's super awesome and cool. He makes the music for us. He's the reason why this class is so successful. If you see him in the hallway, Avery, get back here. Come on, Avery. If you see him in the hallway, give him a big old fist bump. Be like, what's like up, this? Avery? Like that. Thank you for your time, Avery. Thank you, Avery. National, National Day. Day. Today is National Provider Day. I would like to shout out two providers at the school for me. Actually, maybe three. First provider is my teacher, Ms. Hermaka, my favorite Spanish teacher. Second, Ms. Reedy. Third, Ms. Jarvis. Yeah. Okay. And then to all my other teachers this year and last year, you guys are amazing. And I'm very thankful for you guys. And I would like to shout out someone too. I'd like to shout out Kanye West. He provides you with a lot of very good music. What's so funny? Okay, that's all we really have. Those are our providers. And all the teachers in the school, including Mr. Cole, because he's our principal. And Ms. Shunk. And Mr. Meyer. And, and Mr. Stern and all the super awesome staff members that go into making Sycamore such a great place. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you. So you guys already knew this, but in case you didn't, this Sunday is Mother's Day. Take this time to recognize and honor your mother for everything she's done in your life. Come on, you And Mother's Day's coming up. What, you, what are you doing for your mother for Mother's Day? I'm cooking her a nice meal, uh, one of some food, getting her a bouquet of flowers. Hi, my name is Zee, who am I here with today? Delaney. And in uh, honor of Mother's Day, what are you going to be doing for your guardian? Um, we're going to go to the Mother's Day luncheon at the Manor House. Alright. All right. Hi, my name is Zee, who am I here with today? Robert. And what are you going to be doing for your mom for Mother's Day? Well, since she's going to Las Vegas, I'm just going to make sure she comes home to a clean house. Good boy. Good boy. Hi, it's Z. I'm signing off. Uh, I want to thank y'all and happy Mother's Day to all the moms that take care of their kids and all the people that's thankful. And, yeah. Hi, Jesse here. This is Sally. We're here today with our special guest, Mr. Seth. He's a native English speaker, but he's also fluent in Chinese. He would like to send us off this weekend with a special message to share with your mothers. 你好,今天是母亲节。我想祝所有的妈妈们母亲节快乐。幸福安康,永远健康,永远快乐。Hello, today is Mother's Day. We wish all mothers health and eternal happiness. Happy Mother's Day! Alright, wrestling! All wrestlers, open mats will be cancelled this Sunday due to Mother's Day. Please take this time to celebrate your mother or guardian. Now over to our Sycamore Junior High Choir Group. members of Corral Boy Choir and SSC. This past weekend, members of our choir along with SJH staff members and amazing parents traveled to Chicago to attend the Music in the Park Festival. Along with performing, we attended at Chicago Cubs versus Milwaukee Brewers baseball game, a Chicago deep ditch 
pizza, attended performance of Mamma Mia, enjoyed Six Flags Great America Amusement Park, and explored maybe few. The groups were awarded um, with superior and excellent ratings. Sycamore Junior High, as an entire school, was awarded the Esprit de Decor Award, which is given to the one school that shows the best professionalism, um, maturity, sportsmanship, and overall great effort and behavior. We would like to thank all of the administrators, staff, and parents for the support in providing us with this opportunity. <laughs>
It's a nice honor. honor. I would like to interview a couple questions. Um, my first question is, how would your players describe you? Uh, I'm guessing strict, um, probably intense. Uh, hopefully they see that I'm enjoying it as well. Um, so those are probably the things that come to mind first. Yeah. Okay, speaking about spirit, how do you keep your players in spirit during losses? Uh, it's always, it's not always easy after a loss, but I think you just keep talking about ways you can get better. Um, always think about the future, how we can uh, become a better team. So. Okay. And what do you do about a player that complains about playing time? Um, we really don't tolerate that a whole lot. Um, we, we don't have room on our teams for players who are doing that. Now, if a player comes up and says, how can I earn more playing time? How can I become a better player? We're happy to hear that. But just whining about it is absolutely unacceptable. So, Okay. And one personal question, you don't have to ask it. Are you expecting anything out of coaching? Am I expecting anything? Um, I guess the only thing I expect is to keep enjoying it um, each day and, and each season. I always look forward to it. So if that ever stops and I stop looking forward to it, then I know it's time to stop coaching. So. Why did you become a basketball and tennis coach? Those were my favorite sports growing up. Um, I just played them all the time, and uh, and I just really enjoyed them. And I, and I knew I didn't want to come to an end. And when I found out I wasn't going to be on the pro tour or in the, the NBA, I thought, well, this is how I can, can stick with it. So coaching uh, is, is a lot of fun. How do you plan on improving as a coach from year to year? Yeah, I, I think that's something we can always do. Uh, I'm always trying to figure out how can I do a better job. So. You know, you just always analyze. Really, uh, even after each practice and, and each game, you just always look back and think, oh, I should have done this or I could have done this. So just always analyzing what you do and, and how it seems to play out. How does coaching affect your social life, like outside of school? Because, like, you know, after school you have to coach a, a sport and some people use that time to, you know, interact with their family. Social. Yeah, well, I think socially, with other coaches, you have a real bond with the other coaches, whether they're the basketball coaches or just coaches in general. Um, I love talking to other coaches and hearing how they do things, how they handle certain situations. So I think uh, they always call it a coaching fraternity. Um, I really enjoy talking to other coaches and just seeing, getting their opinions on things. So. Okay. How would you handle an upset parent who approaches you after the game about their kid not getting any playing time. Yeah, well, I think the biggest thing is to stay as calm as possible because a lot of times it's emotional. They, they want to see their kid playing. So the best thing is to not have that conversation right then, but let everyone cool off for a little while. Um, the big thing is to stay calm and just keep it to the facts why that child isn't isn't playing or isn't playing as much as they want. You know, from, from a coach's perspective, this is what I would like to see and, you know, if I see that, then playing time could change. So. How do you or would you support other sports in this school? Um, I think it's always good uh, when teams have time to go watch other teams. I think that's a fun thing. I think the teams who are playing really like seeing other teams in the stands. So that's something. Now, you know, we're always really busy, too, so it's hard to do that sometimes. But I think it's really good when they're out of season, like when a, a winter sport comes to see a spring sport or vice versa, I think that's a good way that they can support each other. So, Is there a reason you don't like fancy dribbling? Uh -huh. um, I like to win. And I think when players focus on all that type of stuff, um, I think it, it a little bit keeps us from winning or, or it hurts our chances of winning. And I know everything they see on ESPN um, is more exciting, but to me the most exciting thing is to win. and to prepare them to become better players. I think when you practice the, the fancy stuff and you're not focused on fundamentals, that's not gonna help you for the future. Um, the problem is getting teenagers to understand that, that the fundamentals are what allow you to keep advancing to the next level of basketball or whatever sport it is. So that's a never ending battle, so. Okay, last question here. What do you enjoy most about coaching? Um, I like the building part. You're building a team, um, trying to get them to do things the right way because I feel like there's a whole lot of coaches out there that don't do things the right way. Um, it's just kind of in our society that 
people just don't always emphasize that. So I want to be one of those coaches who tries to do it the right way. Um, on top of that, I love the adrenaline, the excitement that you get from good close games and whether you win them or lose them, um, it, it's that adrenaline that I get that I really enjoy. So, Okay. Thank you. All right. Next up. Birthdays. Happy birthday to Eleanor H. and Rehan P. Celebrating over the weekend is Mason D. and Aaron M. Hope you all have a wonderful day celebrating your special day. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Now we're the joke of the day. We call it when Batman skips the church. What? Christian Bale. They can give you advice in the day. Well, that's all we have for today. Just remember, we're so proud of you for all you've accomplished this year. Your hard work has really paid off. Enjoy your day, follow PBI expectations, and go A's! Go A's! That was good.